हेलो क्लास टुडे अवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ मैट्रिसेस नाउ व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई टू मैट्रिसेस टू थिंग्स वी शुड कीप इन माइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू मैट्रिसेस ए एंड बी आर सेट टू बी कंपैटिबल व्हिच मींस वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई देम वी कैन फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट इफ एंड ओनली इफ द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम ऑफ द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स हैज टू बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ द सेकंड मैट्रिक्स is it clear the suppose we take a matrix a whose order is m cross n then the order of the second matrix b has to be n cross p these two has to be equal then what about the resultant matrix what about the order of the resultant matrix the order of the resultant matrix will be m cross p remember this okay this will be very useful when we multiply two matrices second thing matrix multiplications depend on sequence what do you mean by that in general we see that ab is not equal to b which means matrix multiplication is not commutative in general though there are certain cases where they can be equal for example if i multiply a matrix with the identity matrix you know provided they are uh, uh, multiplied okay they are compatible for multiplication then i into a will be equal there are other cases also where they may be equal but in general we say that ab we will see that ab is not equal to p now we'll look how to multiply two matrices okay now suppose we take a matrix a 3 5 1 and 2 and we take another matrix b suppose 4 and 3 first of all are they compatible for multiplication we'll see that the order of this is 2 cross 2 and the order of this is 2 cross 1 we see that the number of column is equal to the number of row of the second matrix hence they are compatible and what will be the order of the resultant matrix the order of the resultant matrix will be 2 cross 1 which means it will have two rows and one column now we know the element over here a 1 1 first row first column a 1 i sorry a 2 1 second row first column now how to get this element r c over here this denotes row and this denotes column so how do you multiply the first row is multiplied the first column which means 3 will be multiplied by 4 and 5 will be multiplied by 3 done this is a 2 1 which means the second row will be multiplied with the first column so minus 1 into 4 plus 2 into 3 so this is our resultant matrix which will be this is 12 plus 15 this is minus 4 plus 6 so this comes as uh, this is 27 and 2 so a multiplied by b gives you c we'll take one more example now look at this example the order of this is 2 cross 2 the order of this is 2 cross 2 hence are compatible and the resultant matrix will be of order 2 cross 2 which means it will have two rows and two columns we know the element will be a11 a12 a21 a22 now how do you multiply we know a11 means the first row multiplied by the first column So three into one plus minus one into two, we got a one one, a one two, which means the first row multiplied with the second column. So that's three into five plus minus one into zero. Done. Now we'll get a two one. A two one means the second row multiplied by the first column. So that's four. 
multiplied by 1 plus 6 multiplied by 2. 822 means the second row multiplied by the second column. So that's 4 into 5 plus 6 multiplied by 0. It's always row multiplied with the column. Then the resultant matrix, I'll write this is 3 minus 2, 1. This is 15 plus 0. This is 15. This is 4 plus 12. That's 16. That's 20 plus 0. That's 20. And this is how we multiply two matrices. First, we'll check whether they are compatible. And then we'll multiply with this using the logic that it's row into column.